to cloud queries it's been a while that i have uploaded a video in our channel so today in our session i'm going to demonstrate to you how to generate automatically place the ssl certificates into your web server and how can we automate the automatic renewal of ssl certificates so before we go into the ssl certificates and all so what is the advantage of uh, using ssl certificates is so that your website will be secure let's say i'm having a website okay if you go to my website cloudcarries.search.ml so this is not secure so which is not a good thing right if someone sees that the website is not https that is so vulnerable and it won't give you the identity let's say if you want to create certificates the process is a bit tedious you have to generate your own keys and then you have to create a certificate signing request and then that has to be approved by a ca that can be internal ca or an external ca and then you have to place those granted or the uh, approved certificates into your nginx or a Apache if, if it again if it is nginx the way you work is different again if it is an Apache web server the way it works is different So to, to keep things simple we have a simple approach which is being provided by a certificate authority called as let's encrypt Okay with the help of the let's encrypt and we are going to use certbot to automatically create the certificates place the certificates configure the certificates install the certificates and even the renewal of the certificates is going to be automated so we are going to install use let's encrypt certificates with the help of the cert bot so today in our session we are going to create a linux instance so we are already having a linux instance cat taxi star release so we are using 18.4 of ubuntu version okay so what we are going to install so what we are going to install is we are going to install cert bot and we are going to generate the certificates from the let's encrypt let's encrypt is a kind of certificate authority it is one of the top 10 and one of the highly used open source certificate authority guys in the last one year it has issued a billion certificates guys okay it has issued almost a billion certificates okay now now let's see how can we generate the certificates and how can we play around with the let's encrypt so that you don't have to create the certificates and you don't have to approve the certificates and you don't have to place the certificates and you don't have to renew them when they are expired let's say you have placed the certificates and you forgot to renew them so what will happen your website will be down certain applications which require the certificates won't work because your certificates were expired so with the help of the let's encrypt and the cert bot we are going to automate the whole drama of creating the certificate creating the csr approving it and generating it everything we can automate it okay guys so let's go ahead for that what you need first go to the let's encrypt website install the let's cert bot set bot installation on ubuntu just follow the instructions from the they're asking you what is the web server that you're using i'm using nginx what is the base operating system that you're using i'm using 18.04 of ubuntu they're asking make sure you have ssh access and the command line access and make sure port ode port 80 is open and make sure you are able to reach your web server yes i am able to reach my web server perfect now what's next so they are telling yes you should have access to the server and if you don't have installed snapd you can install it with the help of this but uh, by default on the the ubuntu missions you will get snapd installed on it so you don't have to do that you can see the same here distributions with snapd pre-installed on the 18.4 of the lds so i don't have to install that now they're telling that if you already install the cert bot or any cert bot components make sure to remove them okay i'm going to remove them this is a brand new instance so i don't have anything installed on it so i just removed it and then what i have to do is i have to install the cert bot this is the utility an automatic certificate bot or certificate robot which is going to create the certificates approve the certificates by the ca let's encrypt and it is going to install the certificates and it's going to renew the certificates everything that will be done automatically with the help of the cert bot so we are going to install the cert bot install it so this is going to down install the cert bot okay once you install the cert bot what it will do for you is it's going to download the certificates for you as per the name so now i am going to generate the certificates for my website cloudqueries.search.ml 
okay i'm going to download the certificates and i'm going to place the certificates and then i'm going to renew them automatically everything will happen automatically when when we have the cert bot installed so my cert bot installation is in progress it's gonna take less than a minute so we are going to wait till the time we complete okay so along with that you should also make sure what you have to do is one more simple thing that you have to do what is that is so you should make sure and you have to authenticate or you have to assure let's encrypt and the cert bot that the domain certs.ml which you are going to create the certificates you have access and you are the owner for the domain let's say i shouldn't be in a position using certbot i cannot create certificates for google.com and use it on my server right uh, cloud .google i cannot do that right that google.com is something which is created by the google okay if you want to create the certificates for this search.ml domain you have to authenticate yourself okay you have to authenticate yourself so here i'm using the instance on aws aws the service used on aws for dns services is route 53 so on the route 53 okay you should have access to it okay for that you have to install aws cli so if you have aws cli installed on it if you have the access key and the secret key which should have access to the route 553 service as an administrator then the cert bot can think that you have access to the aws console and it verifies whether the search.ml is a registered domain of the person who is hitting the command or not and once if it considers and once it authenticates you that you are the owner for the search.ml domain then only it's going to grant you the certificate that much securities okay so what we are going to do now is okay what we are going to do now is we are going to install aws cli guys okay aws cli perfect aws configure so it's asking you the access key and the secret key i have my access key and the secret key here in this desktop In case if you haven't installed the AWS CLI, make sure to install the AWS CLI. So it will ask you the default region. I'm mentioning. Perfect. Now just hit AWS S3 LS just to make sure whether you have access to the AWS CLI or not. Yes, I have access to the AWS CLA. The keys which I have entered has access to the complete AWS cloud of my cloud carries account. Okay but in your case you can just have access to the route 53 okay perfect now i have access to the aws cli make sure don't publish these things anywhere okay now my cert board installation is still in progress 99 percent of the cert board installation is coming now my machine has access to the aws console now when i hit this generate command okay so now if i hit sudo certbot nginx what it's going to do is certbot okay your certbot it's going to authenticate with your aws route 53 okay. how can it gets authenticated with the aws uh, route 53 is because this instance is have is configured with access key and the secret key so it can authenticate okay paste it here guys here there are two things okay either you can generate the certificates and install the certificates on the same server if that is the case if you want to generate the certificates for someone else you can follow the second approach cert only generates the certificates if you don't mention cert only if you simply mention sudo certbot nginx this is going to generate the certificates and this is going to place the certificates in the nginx configuration and this is going to automatically configure it as well let's see how it works Now it will ask you the email address in case uh, guys this is the email address which you should be using in future if you want to renew the certificates okay so i'm going to give cloud careers dot batch 36 at the rate gmail.com okay this is the very important next in case if you want to renew it you should have to issue this gmail so enter i'm going to accept the terms and conditions from let's encrypt enter and yes i'm okay to publish that i'm using this in the public forum so i have to mention what is the name of my domain okay the name of my server is okay sorry let's do it one more time cloud carries dot search dot ml okay it's going to create a certificate for you and it's going to generate a certificate for you
I assume this is going to fail because I'm not sure whether this user has access or not. Let's wait. Yes, it has created the certificate and it says installing the certificate. Superb guys, can you see this? The certificates were automatically downloaded. They are placed in this. Okay, guys, can you see this here? The downloaded certificate, the created certificates are downloaded and they are placed into your domain folder. Okay, XC Let's Encrypt Live Cloud ml. This is your certificate and this is your key. Okay, and you don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. It has automatically downloaded the approved certificate from the Let's Encrypt. Why? Because it has authenticated that the route 53 search.ml domain is yours. Okay, now let's see. Let's see. Till now, uh, cloud carriage.search.ml. Guys, can you see this? Can you see this? It's locked. That means it is secure. That means it is HTTPS. Again, if you go to the previous, it's not secure. Okay, if you resume it now, it can see it's locked. Can you see this? This is how it's so simple, guys, with the help of the Let's Sync. So creating the certificates, create uh, creating to create a certificate, generating the key, creating the certificate, sending request, getting it approved by the security team, which is nothing but your CA, and then downloading the approved certificates and then placing them in the Nginx and the restarting it. It's a big thing. Even in case in future, if you forgot to renew the certificates, it's going to be a big deal, right? So what you can do is you can also automate the certificate approval process, guys. Certificate renewal process. So how can we automate the certificate renewal processes? Let's say these certificates are going to expire for every 90 days. So what you can do is you can renew them manually. Okay, just go to the website. They have a command which says that Okay Third bot if you hit this, okay, if you hit this command what is going on? What it's going to do is it's renews the certificates which are going to expire in the next 30 days So what it's telling there are no certificates that are due for renewal if any of the certificates are due to renew in 30 days They're going to be renewed automatically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to automate this command. So I'm going to place them in the Cron tab, so how can we place them is also that they have given so just go to cron tab CD CD XE cron tab It's a command it's a file cron tab is a file go there and mention <clears throat> okay now i want i want every 12 30. okay every uh, every 12 30 i want this job to run every day every month every weekday i want to run this as a root user uh, okay and i want to execute this command what is the command this command so every day afternoon 12 30 every day every month every year every day Okay, it's going to run as a root user and it's going to renew the certificates So whenever afternoon 12 30 this command ran any of the certificates which are due for less than 30 days It's going to automatically update guys. Okay automatically renew them. That's it. We are done Okay, this is how with the help of the let's encrypt We are with the help of the let's encrypt and with the help of the cert bot. Okay, Certbot is the latest name guys. So with the help of the Certbot, we are going to generate the approved certificates from the let's encrypt website This will happen only if the machine which is hitting this command has access to the AWS CLI or the GCP CLI or whatever it is Okay with the help of the cron tab your certificates are going to be renewed automatically So you never ever have to look back how to renew the certificates. So from now renewing the certificates is a piece of work Okay guys, if you like my explanation Please hit a like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.